guest is a sensational comedian. He's at the Bijou Theatre in Knoxville, Tennessee, December the 17th. Please welcome the lovely Henry Cho, everybody. Henry Cho. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you guys are too kind. Hey, uh, my name is uh, Henry Cho. I'm a uh, full-blooded Korean. I was born and raised in Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> I don't speak Korean, though, because uh, they didn't offer it in my high school. <laughs> I took Spanish. <laughs> I did go to Korea, though, one time, 25 years ago. I went with my dad. This is weird, because Korean people walk up and start talking to me. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I'm like, how y'all doing? Get away from me. <laughs> I did go with my dad. This is weird. You got to follow me on this. Back home in Knoxville, we're the only Asian people. My dad's the only Asian man I've ever seen in my life before I went to Korea. <laughs> so I could pick my dad at any crowd like that. <laughs> this reversed on me in Korea. <laughs> we got to play and he walked 20 feet away and I just lost him. <laughs> Found like an hour later, Dad, don't leave me, man. <laughs> They're talking to me. <laughs> Only travel I've been doing out of the world now, across the world now, has been uh, mission trips, third world countries, you know, third world countries. You know, I was in India. Crazy thing about there, they have no shower curtains. Unbelievable, no shower curtains. Same kind of bathroom, no shower curtain, water goes everywhere. But I started thinking, wow, you know, the movie Psycho would not work here. <laughs> There'd be no <laughs> It'd be, what are you doing here, man? <laughs> Close the door, it's cold, dude. <laughs> you know, the one thing I noticed in third world countries, they all have in common is lack of food, lack of food. We have so much food in this country, it's unbelievable. You know, we have the food network, we have eating competitions. We have so much food, we develop allergies to food. <laughs> Doesn't happen in third world. I guarantee you there's no one in Honduras that was uh, lactose intolerant. <laughs> Not one kid, when I gave him a sandwich in a little village in India, not one kid went, hey, uh, uh, does that have peanut butter? <laughs> no peanut butter, man. <laughs> My wife's going to Haiti soon. My wife is awesome. Been married uh, 13 years. 13 years of marriage? It's great. I, oh, you don't have time. Well, yeah, I am in showbiz. That's like 112, but anyway. <laughs> but my wife is great. My wife's like most wives. My wife can find anything. The other day, my oldest boy, Jackson, lost his DS in my truck. He and I go looking for it. My truck's not dirty. It's not in there. I came in and go, honey, not in there. She's like, well, let me go look. <laughs> I'm like, well, go look. <laughs> oh, she was outside when I said that. I'm not stupid. <laughs> so she's back in 30 seconds. It was right there. <laughs> I'm like, man. She hands it to Jackson, walks off. He looks at me and goes, how does she do that? I go, well, she's a witch. You ever seen your mom float? Your mom can't float. Witches can't float. Your mom's a witch. He's like, mom can find anything except her own cell phone. My wife loses her cell phone 20 times a day. She has two phones so she can find the other phone. Luckily, she's in her own circle of five friends, so it's cheaper. <laughs> I thought with all the cell phones, she'd get all the talking out, but she doesn't. We still got to talk, you know? Women have to talk. It's a scientific fact. I'm not being sexist. Women use more words per day than men. It's not like 12 more. It's like thousands more. <laughs> and if you don't get them out, they build up like rollover minutes. <laughs> then we pay the penalty. If my wife would figure out I don't care about 95% of stuff she cares about, like her house, I don't care about her house. Our lives would be so much smoother. The other day I was watching a ball game. She just paused and goes, hey, Henry, uh, you like these curtains? I said, yes. <laughs> what do you like about them? No. <laughs> One of those gets you out of here, right? <laughs> Y'all been great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.